Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Kelsey. Today I have a really exciting video. I have done on my channel before some recreating Vogue covers, which were pretty popular. I love doing them. You guys love them. I've done a couple episodes. Today I decided to switch it up. Today I'm going to be recreating some Dior ads. We're going to do the hair, the makeup, the outfit, the shot, and try to get it as pretty close as possible. So we're actually going to start off with the perfume ad. I've got a really exciting dress that I'm going to get to shoot. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm here getting ready for the first look. I thought I'd show you guys like a little behind the scenes. Um, wait till I show you the outfit. So a, we're doing the Miss Dior one first and she had this like tulle light pink dress. Is this not perfect? It laces up in the back. This is from a brand called Milanova. They just sent it to me. I haven't even tried it on yet. I'm so excited. I've been looking for an excuse to like wear this. And when I was looking for the ads for this video, I saw the Miss Dior ad and this dress immediately popped in my head. And I was like, this would be so perfect. So I'm gonna put this on. Um, all three of the photos actually, their hair was straightened. So I've done just kind of like a blowout straightened look, but I'm in the middle of doing my makeup. So I've got it all pinned back. So far, all I've done is like concealer, brows, blush, and chapstick. So <laughs> I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on, but um, I thought I'd just be true to brand. And because we're doing Dior ads, I'm doing all Dior beauty product. Not sponsored by Dior, I wish. <laughs> Let me show you a little bit of what I've got on. So I started with the Dior Glow Primer just because we're taking photos. I want my skin to look really nice. I normally don't wear a lot on my skin, but for photos, you know. Then I've got the Fix It Concealer, which is really, really great. It has like a primer. It's kind of like a lipstick. Okay, and then for my brows, I use this literally every single day. This is the Dior Show All Day Brow Ink. I really like this. I usually use, if you've seen any makeup tutorial of mine, I'm always using their brow pencil. And I recently transitioned to this just because I had it and I was like, you know what, let's try something new. Let's switch it up. And I'm going to do highlighter. Of course, I've got my Dior Show. I kind of forgot this existed. This is like the best highlighter ever. I'm gonna do this just because all the girls are really glowy in all of the photos so I really that's why I put the glow primer on too. I like really want to have that like Dior glow of like Dior skin for the ads. So I didn't want to turn this into a makeup tutorial but we're finishing off with the Dior lip maximizer just kind of like a sheer pink gloss. Now in all the photos they have really natural makeup so I've decided to do like a very natural makeup, but um, I might have to change my makeup for the bronzer ad because Bella, it's Bella Hadid in the photo, she doesn't even look like she has mascara on because it's really about the skin for the bronzer. So I might have to take my mascara off for that photo. And of course, to finish off the look, we've got our Miss Dior perfume. Okay, so I'm gonna go put on the dress. I'm gonna get my mom, we're gonna sit on the steps and we're gonna take a photo for Dior. I'm gonna back you guys up to show you this dress. This is easily the best dress I've ever worn in my life. Look at this. This is so pretty. Perfect, I can't wait. Okay, we're gonna go downstairs. I'm so excited, I love this dress. <laughs> so, head this way. So it's this arm, and it's like on my chin. Let me see the... <laughs> Good. Oh, I mastered the hair bump. Yeah. <laughs> I was worried it didn't. Okay, that was amazing. The photos came out so good. I'm gonna quickly change into the second look because I'm gonna use my dad's hand as like a prop. He's gonna be like doing the makeup, like the one with the makeup brush, but he has to leave for work in like 20 minutes. So we're in a bit of a time rush. I'm gonna change, it's just my straps and I have like a Dior bra, you'll see, you'll see. <laughs> Okay, so here's my look for round two. I've got this Dior bralette on. Now the photo is only like from the shoulders up, so all I needed was the strap. Now her hair is way shorter than mine in the photo, so that's the only thing I'm obviously not gonna be able to recreate. Okay, I gave myself a haircut. Just kidding. <laughs> I just kinda like clipped it in the back and left my front pieces out. So yeah, the same brush that she has, and then obviously the bronzer. It's gonna be like that. And um, oh my gosh, she has tiny brows, and I, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> that's the angle. So don't get the top, it's like just from here. Good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay, maybe I should actually cut my hair short. I'm kind of liking it. But for this look, I'm gonna put my hair in a little bun. That's what she has, just with a couple little like tendrils falling down, like my short pieces, and she has like a side sweep. So I'm gonna do that. I've got on this sweater. She has like the two-tone sleeve where she has like this white sleeve underneath her sweater. And then for the bag, this is the bag I have, my Dior. Um, same kind of shape, not the same bag, but it'll be fine. Okay, so 
I'm gonna try to do, ooh, <laughs> I'm looking at it now. I'm gonna try to do the hair look. So let me do, but it's not like a full side part. It's just like a kind of side part like that. It's pulled up. She has a lot of body in the back here, so I'm gonna have to like tease it maybe. Kind of tucked behind her ear, but not exactly. And then the piece that's out is on this side. So her makeup is kind of the same. Her eyes are, is this Jennifer Lawrence? I don't know, is that a picture of Jennifer Lawrence? I actually have no idea. It could be Jennifer Lawrence, maybe maybe it is. I know she models for Dior, but I don't know if that's her or not. It looks like her, but it could not be her. I don't know. Her eyes are a little bit more smoky, so I'm gonna put on like a little bit of a dark brown shadow. Got Dior, and I'm gonna use, this is um, a palette, a five color palette in 777. I'm gonna use this dark brown right under here. This is a gorgeous color palette, by the way. Never used this one before. And I'm just gonna do a little bit. She's got like a little bit of like a smoky look. So my right side, so you're kind of here more. My right palm is over this way. Left arm is up and reaching towards my shoulder with my fingers. Let me see. Like that. Yep, her hand and is down. And then that hand is down. That's good. Ooh, that's pretty. And right there. Ow. Okay. Look, great. Let me look through these. Okay. Oh. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we got it. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. <sighs> that wasn't that hurt so bad. My shoulder actually. is so bad holding it up like See, that. See, for this all bag, I have stuff so it looks full and it literally is like 10 pounds. Oh my gosh. So we heavy. got an arm workout today. Yeah. We're editing photo number one, the dress photo. Here's our side by side. So, first things first, we need to invert the photo. So, okay. I'm like on the same side as her. There we yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. Woo! Okay. So now our photo color wise is a little bit brighter. Right. Like see how she's it's all before a before I do that, I'm going to do some um color grading because she's a lot warmer. She yeah, has some she's, golden that's what I'm tones. Saying. She's warmer and her pinks are pinker. So we're gonna drop this color in here. Now I'm gonna go to the blending modes and that's I'm going to color. choose Oh, that looks good. Right, we're gonna go, we're gonna start soft here. Light. Soft light. I'm gonna bring down the opacity a little bit. This one. Oh, wait, which one does it look like? That's it. It says the Blooming Boutique on it too, I think. Yeah, yeah Blooming Boutique. Come in, and here, B. There we go. So now let's just make this bigger. Okay, so this is what we have now. We couldn't find a transparent one, so we had to like erase around it. And we're gonna try to make it like the same size. Now hers is actually kind of stubbier too. Stubbier? She had yeah. a different bottle, you didn't can hit, she? Like transform and just like squish <laughs> it up a little bit. All right, we can do that. Okay, so after we added the perfume, these are the two finished photos. Obviously mine is on the right and I have to say this one is probably my favorite ad we recreated. The dress really pulled it off and I love the way it looked. We didn't end up editing the steps the same, um, but I still like it just like this. Now we're on to photo number two. So then the main thing is the colors. As you can see, these are really warm and these are like really cool tone, just brown. Mine look like orange. <laughs> so we need to make my photo less warm. Her skin is still warm, but mine is super pink. Hers is like yellow undertone. And then that's before. Wow. <laughs> that's after. Big, big difference. And then also the cropping. Yeah, so we'll crop into her. The other thing is her brush is like bright white and clean and mine is like super dirty and orange. <laughs> so can we just whiten the So before we do that, brush. let me just take this hair out of your forehead. Okay. okay. So that was before. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty brush, clean brush. So here's the finished photos side by side. This was the one that required the least amount of editing and also we shot in the quickest amount of time. I think we literally only took like four shots and got it right away. So I really like this, especially because we were able to recreate that sort of studio lighting even though we did not have it at all. And yeah, that's how this one turned out. Yeah, is this Jennifer? I, that's what I was saying, I don't know. It looks like her, but I can't tell. Jennifer, what's Lawrence? her name? Lawrence. I yeah. said that in the video. I was like, is this Jennifer Lawrence? I don't I know. I think it I is. I can't tell. And you're a brunette and she's a blonde, so she has and different- And blue eyes. And blue so eyes. So there's different, yeah. a lot of different tones going on here. Um, but honestly, I'm gonna just put some brightness in your eyes and you don't really need anything else. No. So Do you think it would be easy or hard to copy this black scrolly thing in our window? We can probably do that. Superimposing the background. So what we're gonna have to do is just clone it. So we're gonna take 
and stamp that and come back here and just start pasting it in. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, now we're cropping again. They always cut the top of these girls' heads off. I know. <laughs> okay, that's good. Oops, Oops. hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I picked the wrong tool. There we go. A little smaller. Yeah, yeah I think that's right. good. Right there. And that is the finished third photo. Actually, you know what? I honestly, maybe this one is my favorite one. I love that we recreated even like the window thing in the background it was so amazing. And yes, I love the way that this Dior ad turned out. And I think all of them came out great. I'm really proud of us, especially for how quickly we did this. We honestly shot all three of these looks in about under two hours. So yeah, there's my final Dior ad. Please feel free to hire me anytime you want. <laughs> So those are the three finished photos for my Recreating Dior ads video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It brought you some sort of entertainment. Maybe you guys can have fun and do this at home yourselves. I'm probably going to be making more episodes of these because they're just so fun. If you want to see that, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe for more of these upcoming videos in the future as well as any other sort of fashion videos that I like to do on my channel as well as lifestyle videos. You guys can also follow me on my Instagram which will be down in the description. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.